In this work, we present a complementary multimodal sensor fusion approach to improve the reliability of robot pose estimation in perception degraded environments. Reliable robot pose estimation in subterranean environments, such as underground mines, tunnels, and caves, is of particular interest in this work due to their challenging nature and perception degraded characteristics. These environments, in addition to being GPS denied and poorly illuminated, can also be obscurant filled and geometrically self-similar in nature. To verify the improvements, a short flight test was conducted in a narrow geometrically self-similar building corridor. The proposed approach is able to estimate the robot pose correctly during the flight and build a representative map of the environment. The resulting map for this experiment is compared to the map built by state-of-the-art LiDAR odometry and mapping solution, LOM. Furthermore, to rationalize the improvements, an experiment was conducted in a real-world tunnel underpass. This environment is tube-like in nature and geometrically symmetric along its primary direction of travel. The proposed approach is able to correctly estimate the robot pose and produce a realistic map of the self-similar environment, despite the ill conditioning of the lighter pose estimation process. In our proposed approach, visual inertial and thermal inertial robot pose estimates are fused with the LiDAR pose estimation process to improve its reliability To demonstrate the performance of the proposed approach in real-world subterranean applications, a field deployment was conducted at an active underground mine at Turquoise Ridge Joint Venture in northern Nevada. This deployment presents the challenging case of autonomous exploration in an active underground mine. During this mission, the robot autonomously takes off explores the underground environment in conditions of complete darkness and in the presence of heavy airborne dust. Once the robot battery reaches a critical level, the robot returns to its initial takeoff position and upon arrival, lands autonomously. During this autonomous exploration mission, the robot traversed a total path of approximately 400 meters in length and correctly returned to its initial takeoff location, indicating minimal drift in the robot pose estimation process. Finally, the proposed approach was employed during the tunnel circuit of DARPA Subterranean challenge as part of the competition run of Team Cerberus. During this mission, the robot entered the safety research coal mine and continued to autonomously explore along the tunnel like mine drift until the robot battery reached critical level. At this point, the robot successfully returned to its initial takeoff position and landed, indicating minimal post drift accumulation and demonstrating the reliability of the proposed approach.